I think someone who goes under the radar a lot is 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 Bresciano. Anyone that was good, I just you would, just kick the you know what out yeah, of. Yeah, I just want to see what their reaction was going to be like. Ronaldinho or Zinedine Zidane? Ronnie. I love Zidane though, Ronnie. Where's the Morrow? What? A <laughs> Morrow? I'm joking. I'm the joking. home brand Mars yeah. bar. It's a very wrestling themed episode of Takes from the Terrace. I got my bike and take a jacket on, and we got the blue meanie, Scotty McDonald. <laughs> we back. We back. Steve A, great to have you on, my friend, for this episode of Takes. I was just talking. You are Queensland. I am. You're in Queensland. AEW is going to Queensland as well. What are the odds Scotty McDonald takes? Just can you imagine a chop from the big show? Oh, I reckon I could take it. If you were one... I'd like, be scared. I if you I'd were be scared. one wrestler, like who do you think you would be of all time? Oh, who like, would I be or who would I want to be? Who would you want to be? Like, That's still got to be the Hulk, isn't it? Yeah, I love you're a Hulk star. Yeah, you're a Hulkamaniac. I'm a Hulkamaniac. I'm yeah. a big Hulkamaniac as well. Yeah. He's overhated. I reckon I could get a tan like him if you give me a couple of months up there. <laughs> Well, you're in Queensland. That's perfect for the tan. Absolutely. You just need a bit of that uh, Maybe a gold, WWE gold, secret golden, sauce. We'll get you nice. I get a golden tash. I can dye the rest of it and go NWO if you want. Well, you know, we saw Fernando Torres. Yeah. Got, he's, have you seen Man, him? He's jacked, before? isn't he? He's jacked. So now I think you should go the same route. I've probably, it's, I'm a little nugget, so I could probably do that pretty quickly. I could see you like a Rey Mysterio. Yeah, a little. Yeah. Well, or maybe a Shawn Michaels, agile. a heartbreak kid. Agile. The ring technician. All right, let's talk football, though. Yeah, let's get onto the serious stuff, yeah. <laughs> a few weeks ago, my my second favourite player all time, Luisito Suarez, retired from international football, mm. Scotty. And it got me thinking, you've reminded me many times on this show and off air that you know a thing or two about being a striker. <laughs> you played it. So I thought, who better Sorry, to ask mate. Yeah, than got... who was the greatest striker of that generation? And I'm going to narrow it down to three. Okay. Lewandowski, Benzema, Luis Suarez. That's the three for me. Lewandowski. Benzema and Suarez. Who is the best, according to our resident striker expert, Steve Bay McDonald? Wow. You know what my answer is going to be? Well, you think, because I put you on the spot here. I didn't tell you that we're mm. going go, to go down this route. It has to be Suarez. Why? Makes every team he goes to better everywhere. Mm -hmm. Winner at every single level, international football club level as well. You know, he's fourth all time in assists. So not just an out and out goal scorer as well. Mm. And... You think about the era that he played in. Ronaldo and Messi dominated. Every single year, one of them would yeah. win the European Golden Boot. He won it twice in that era. In that era where Messi and Ronaldo were breaking football, scoring outrageous amounts of goals, mm -hmm. Suarez, the only player to win the Golden Boot in that era. Twice. Did it when he was at Liverpool, did it when he was at Barcelona. Okay. So for me... Would he, you know what I liked about him actually when he left Barcelona and he won the league? At Atletico. At Atletico. So that's big for me. However, I mean, Lewandowski, I think, is out of the, the argument. I think he was amazing, though, in terms of his career, Dortmund, Bayern, and whatnot. But I think Benzema. Okay, you're going to lean towards Benzema? I think so. Ballon d'Or as well, yeah. though. Um, and then when Ronaldo leaves, continues. He goes to another level. Continues, yeah, becomes captain. They still win the decima once again and again. You know, and becomes the leader of that. I will say he aged better. Than Suarez because they're the same. I believe they're both thirty six. They're the same age. Yeah. He 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 won the Ballon d'Or two years ago. Mm -hmm. Suarez's prime were those so you final years. Your mind? No no no. Oh no. Suarez for me is is unbeatable. He's he is just the soul. Even like what he did for Uruguay, wins yeah. a Copa America mm -hmm. in Uruguay, drags it time and time again, breaks England hearts in twenty fourteen. Like what, he just what was the criteria for this again? Just personal preference. Okay. So mine's extremely biased, but yeah, I think absolutely. a lot of people would agree with me as well. Louis Suarez for me is just yeah, a lot of people agree with me one. too. Though, I, don't I? <laughs> there's no wrong answer. I think Benzema. Okay. Just off, I know what you're saying, but I think numbers and then trophies as well. Yeah, I look, that's tough. Between the two of them, I think Lewandowski's there as well. But yeah, I I'd have to say Benzema just because of how he carried the team. Post Ronaldo, Post you're saying Ronaldo. that won you over. Yeah. Suarez, think, Suarez didn't really do that, but what I was given props for was obviously winning at Atletico. That was huge. Yep. But I think just what Benzema had to do... I when, think also with Suarez, I think the good thing to look is how 
bad Barcelona were and have been since since he left. Yeah. As well, everyone, you know, you can say, you can make the argument, oh, but he was in that team, it was MSM, but like, he was the... He was top. He was the... Like, they were all equally as important. He scored yeah. in Champions League finals. He scored in the champion. He scored in big games, golden boots, I, everything. They were all... As a, as a player... Important. As of course, a, Messi was number one. As a player, I would say Suarez I love like more than Benzema, but I'm just talking about plain and simply on what he did. I'd say Benzema. Okay, and I'm going to say okay. Luis Suarez. All and right. I'm also going to say it is time for a very special edition. Producer Greg threw a little treat in there for you. It's a nice surprise. Lovely. Oh, <laughs> Halftime oranges. Thank you, Producer Greg. All right, okay, thank you, Okay, we've got some sweets here, Scotty. Oh, are you, oh, are you telling me to pick one? What is the greatest chocolate? And actually, first of all, are you a Turkish Delight fan? No. No, why not? Where's the morrow? <laughs> Remember we talked about that? What? <laughs> Amaro. I'm joking. I'm the joking. home brand Mars yeah. bar. <laughs> yeah. The Mars bar from Wish. You know underrated chocolate? Cherry ripe. Cherry ripe. You know what I love what about, about them? What about a bounty? Uh, they're all right. It's, just, it's got coconut in it. It's just not I'm going to actually cherry. tuck into a, a cherry ripe. Well, you feel you know, free to have the you know what? option. If, with whatever's left, I'd take a crunchy, but the mm. Reese one. Mmm. Yeah, I, these are okay. I actually had one of these for the first time the other day. My no problem is with the crunchy. A Nothing little, worse than when you have a stale crunchy. A little garage pit stop and I had one of these. They need to be really cold though. That's what I would say. Mm. And it is. There you go. Um, best ever though. Best ever chocolate. Oh, you a Mars oh, or a Snickers guy? Or... You know what I like? Do you know what? Our Victorian Institute of Sport, how bad is this? <laughs> when we were like growing up, it was like we were sponsored by Snickers. So you used to just get Snickers after every training session. There was loads. <laughs> Boys just used to grab them and put them in their That's bag. That's like uh, Real say, Madrid with Nutella, I'm pretty sure. As yeah. well. Cassano got really fat on it. Just tuck it in. So you tuck a couple of Snickers bath. I'll just say, no, I'm a Twix guy. Okay. I'm a dairy yeah. milk. Original uh, or even Marvelous Creations? Mm, no, caramel one. If we're, going, nice if we're going into... Um, you can delve into the chocolate realms. Okay, like chocolate as in like full bar. What would you go? Are you a snack? Are you a Black Forest? Or are you just dairy milk? Dairy are milk. you Caramello? Which dairy milk. Caramello is nice too. I'm a dairy milk marvelous creation. You know the one that has the little popping candy in it? Oof. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Acting your age now. Yeah. I okay. feel like that's been around for a while. <laughs> uh, underrated though. You know what? Overhated. Turkish delight. Very overhated chocolate. And mm. yeah, also overhated and underrated. Well, look at me. I'm getting it all over my trousers. I'm going to wash this down Dance, now. With a what little, are you doing to me? With a little orange. All right, Scotty Matt. All right, let's get serious. Let's Come get on. serious now. First time we've done this on this show, we're going to play this or that. Okay. I'm going to rattle off two things, and you are just going to tell me what you prefer. It's Legends Edition. Okay. okay. Yep. Let's days. start with the age-old question, Ronaldo or Messi? This is rapid fire. <laughs> Scotty Mack's not terrible. capable of rapid fire. He loves the slow roast. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, up to, up to the World Cup, I would have said Ronaldo, now Messi. Messi? Okay. Pele or Maradona? Oh, Maradona. Ronaldinho? Or Zinedine Zidane? Ronnie. I love Zidane though. Ronnie. All yeah. That, that was a tough one. Ronald, Lampard Ronald. or Skulls? Skulls. Okay. Purely on what they did in the A-League, Milos Ninkovic or Thomas Broish? <sighs> Milos, because he's our mate as well. Yeah, yeah. I'll go Milos too. Does pineapple belong on pizza, yes or no? Uh, no. No, I agree. Did when I was a kid though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. It's, 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 made me happy it's a definite yeah. no-no what's even worse you know my girlfriend she eats pizza with a knife and fork yeah you can't do that you no, can't no, 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 do no. that you can't do that no 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 definitely not all right scotty matt now let's reminisce on your career i want to ask you we're rattling off some legends there mm -hmm. so it got me thinking the best player you've played with and against against uh, everyone asks me that one all the time i played against them all i wish i was lucky played you played against messi, messi. played against ronaldo played against dino yeah, and Aldinho as well. Kaka? Yep. Who's the best? Oh. Who was the best? Actually, no, actually, who's the best on that day? Because obviously you're going to say probably Messi. But like, who was just on that day? You're like, man, he was untouchable. Well, Kaka was Ballon d'Or at the time. Uh, Messi scored two against us. So he was unreal. Ronaldo was brilliant at that point. That was when Man United were at their very best, when he was at his very best. I played against them all when they were at their very best. Ronaldinho, Ronaldinho was like just having a jolly up out in the left wing. And I tell you what, you played in the the goat era yeah. of Scottish football. Like mm. when it was Celtic and Rangers were not only in the yeah. Champions League, but they would go on a run as well. And yeah, then, no, we went, we made last sixteen two years in a row as well. So it was like 
yeah, we were doing really, really well. But look, I think best player you played with Nakamura. Yeah, what Should a player! Say, and that's well, I mean, that's at club level. I mean, yeah, okay, actually, I like that. So that's your club. Yeah. When you were with the Socceroos, who's the best player you played with? Look, I think um, Timmy for numbers is unbelievable for technical ability and what they could do. I was only with Dukes a short time, so I thought Dukes was the best. Okay. But it's I think someone who goes under the radar a lot is is, is Bresciano for his technical Bresciano. ability as well and what he could do and his longevity. It's he's tight with Harry, but Harry wins. Harry, Harry Kuhl? Yeah. I like we were, I was I always say this, I was the luckiest one of the luckiest players to play in that era of national team, but one of the most unluckiest. Because there was that many good ones. I mean, you, we're not even talking about Johnny Aloisi and of the likes. There's more and more and more. Oh, there you know, were so Brent many. Brett Emerton, Jason Chalina, and then you got Maury. And, I mean, they, the golden gen generation for a reason. Then the next ones that came along as well. Was some is Harry Kuehl the greatest soccer ever, in your opinion? Like, just no, I, Timmy talent is. Wise, Tim, the Timmy. Talent wise, though, is he the greatest player? Not, of course, Timmy would be. Oh, that's tough. I mean, yes, a fit Harry Kuehl. Unbeatable. Uh, Injuries robbed him. Yeah, I think a fit Harry Kuehl would be frightening, but I think Dukes could have played for anyone if he if he fancied it. Liverpool fans <laughs> yeah, were saying that, that when, game against Liverpool, he terrorised yeah, them, scored. But when he fancied it, he was just because of the size of the man and how he could move. It's just unreal. Let's but, bring it now to the A-League, like we like doing to finish up. Mm -hmm. Best player you played with or against in the A-League? In the A-League? Oh... Just to wrap it up, you know, put a little Ooh. cherry on top of it, like, yeah, like we like okay. to do with the A League. That's that's hard as well. Um, I think as you get older as well, I think the, like Milos was very, very good though. See that Sydney FC team was just coming to the back end of their dominance at that point too. Broski had just retired at that point, but you know Milos was Milos was so good, and I feel so bad for him because people, I think. Now, because now he's gone to Western Sydney, you know like I, they yeah. don't give him the respect that he deserves. I'd he's actually say the Castro, greatest. though. Another great player. I'd say him. I uh, played against him one season and I booted him three or four times. <laughs> Anyone that was good, I just... You just kicked the you-know-what out yeah, of? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to see what their reaction was going to be like. What yeah, was his they reaction? They didn't like it. They yeah, didn't like it. No? Nah. Did he call you a, something in Spanish? Like a, a little... Yeah, but it's just, it's just cute ones. It wasn't like you're going in two foot. It's just late ones. Like little knee here or there. Because yeah, they're good, you know, and obviously... You so that was over, like a sign of respect. You played you. overseas, yeah, so you'll just give them one. Like, you asked me, like, she would have said, yeah, that that happened, you know, but probably doesn't remember because <laughs> he got kicked that much. Because <laughs> he got kicked that yeah. much. But, yeah, like, I, but I think Castro, for what he could carry his own team, he could carry that whole team. Very underrated player, wasn't mm, he? Just yeah. me saying, I wish he deserved to win one. A league title. Like they won the premiership close. and then yeah, they, they lost that penalty shootout. It was really. Went actually, from La Liga. Yeah. He scored at the. I'm pretty sure he scored at the New Camp the season before he came to the A league. Yeah. He, he was he was very very good. Yeah, he was a baller. Mm. Scotty Max been an absolute pleasure. We're gonna sign. Uh, we're gonna line up AEW tickets. Let's do it. Yeah. We're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna we're, and we're gonna try and tee something up because there's a football connection there as well. The owner of AEW is also. Uh, Owner of Fulham. We're going to tee some. You're going to see yeah, Scotty Max. Tag him on this and see if he responds. There Let's see go. if Tony Khan responds. I know he's very active <laughs> on social media. You're going to see Scotty Mack takes some He knows some takes from the terrace, you know. Takes from the turnbuckle. We'll be coming up soon. <laughs> As always, guys, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.